Make no mistake that these so-called elite, they're not confused about abundance at all. <laughs> they take care of their families. They buy all the land up and they hoard all the resources so they know what abundance is. But in the highly electric field of the acid body, however, there's lots of hissing and spitting going on. There's a lot of arguments and anger happening in those kind of fields because those fields are constantly conflicting. They're the two snakes. So when you think about all the errors, I just want to take you, take, just take a moment for yourself. Just pause for yourself. I just went through two hours almost, maybe a little bit more, of the greatest arcana. And when we can imagine even where the world is, you don't have to blame yourself. We could just put somebody in that space. I always blame myself, though, because that, that's how I get my power, is I make it my fault. <laughs> That way, if it's somebody else's fault, then, you know, and they don't choose to change, I'm not stuck. It's my fault. And in my errors, no wonder why there hasn't been massive levels of prosperity. If I've confused abundance, if I have allow my energy to be drained and leaked, if I don't have much knowledge or real applicable knowledge and wisdom, not even common sense, if I never sit with my elders, then no wonder why I'm not wealthy. So here, come, here I come, wealth. See, that's how you have to, I mean, that's, that's really it. Like you will be able to prove the power of this knowledge by simply carrying on with what has been presented here and making those adjustments and there will be no hocus pocus necessary, but it will work because these are the dynamics to how things work. So even when you look in the money, money has that magnetic strip. But it also has something else, though. It has arcane symbols that the world has been chasing after since the beginning of time. So it has its magnetic field, and that's why people chase money. So there are simple laws in place here then. And just so you understand how symbols are, you see a dollar sign, how do you feel? You see an exclamation mark, how do you feel? You see a question mark, how do you feel? And instead of the que answering the question, just realize you feel. So the symbol causes a feeling. So how many symbols do you think actually around you that you may be just a little bit less familiar with but you're sub on the conscious level, but your subconscious recognizes that symbol and reacts to that symbol. And that's resonance, that's magnetism right there. It's not just the magnet on the back of the thing that's sticking on the refrigerator. It's invisible of a force. You can feel it's there. That's why it cannot be denied. Magnetic force cannot be denied, but we cannot generally see it. We can see the phenomena it causes. This is why it's likened unto spirituality because that's the same thing. We can feel it, but we can't actually see it, but we know that it's there, but less so with spirituality than magnetics. Because magnetics, you can feel the force. You can go get one right now and check it out. So these simple laws of magnetic attraction and electric repulsion, they're never really, you don't hear this in the secret. <laughs> like the secret thing, they made billion dollar already. They were at a billion dollars last time to check the numbers. They didn't say anything about magnetic attraction and electric repulsion in its conjunction and, and, and function with the sexual centers of the body, male and female. That's what happens when you stay in the safe zone. See, so some people in trying to be politically correct and trying to be on everyone's side has, have forfeited themselves the higher levels of knowledge that they could have received. And that's the same thing that we're talking about earlier in this conversation, that if you're wasting all your energy all the time on someone who clearly does not want to change, then you now know why you're stagnant and not at the level to where you should be. This would be common sense, right? But remember, this is knowledge to many of us. And until we get it, we cannot see into the space and that door cannot be open. But now we can see it. And now the door is open. Now we've been convinced.
right? Like, because all those extra entities that are around, they're the ones that are asking all the whys. What, when, why, where, how, what, what about? I love that one. Well, what about? And then they come up with tons of stuff to keep telling you about why you should keep getting your energy drained. And, and you, then this is the ones you want to place your faith. This is what you want to take into the next stage of your consciousness is this busy, conflictive mind. So this, these are the formulas of how you rid yourself of that. Because I said like the little chit chat in the mind, those are the, those are the flunkies. The big boss generally is actually manifested in the physical reality around you if there's some kind of energy drain going on. And for all those who feel abundant and prosperous on a consistent basis, simply ignore all of what I said in the conversation today as simply being a pointer to what you're already doing. You always have to leave that. You always have to leave that kind of clause for that person in denial. So as we keep going with this, we now then see it's so important to have this energetic check and balance system in the times that you're moving in now. And so remember that the path is not what's changing, it's you that's changing. And then when you get onto another path, that path moves different. So this knowledge and this information is quickening you and you're moving into another path. And that path then requires that you have the energetic management system on board and functioning properly. Right. If you're going to get a level up and go to another stage, let's just talk about that because you're going to need some accounting for your energetic field in how your how your expenses are going out, your energy expenditure. <laughs>